it's it's quite unfortunate that this sleeve is that dreaded three-quarter sleeve that I that I just it's horrendous all right vintage lovers sit back and relax and let's see if I can impress you with the vintage treasures I've collected over the last several weeks I've managed to find some beautiful pieces and I hope you think they're beautiful as well let's not waste any time and jump straight in I'm gonna start off with the more wintry pieces seeing as I'm in winter at the moment as if you couldn't tell what do you think of this duster jacket I think it's really different with the leopard print collar and cuffs and of course the vintage buttons you know I'm a sucker for vintage buttons this one is by Delina Australia the fabric composition on this one is a polyester viscose blend would you believe it's a size 18 my friends I reckon duster jackets are a thing of the past the closest piece that comes to a duster jacket are those shackets that are very on trend at the moment and I think they work because they're so easy to dress up or down it was just a great piece that I couldn't resist this is a trench coat that's quite minimal in the details so we have a traditional shirt collar we've got buttons going all the way down and of course the discreet pockets this one is not lined it does have the little tab detail on the cuff and a tab detail on the shoulders as well what I do like about this trench is this pleat in the back because it just creates a beautiful swing to the coat I just love when my clothing has movement and yeah it's kind of full length so in between your knees and your ankles which is a great length I don't know if you can tell but it is a plaid hopefully you can catch the detail there and there is the vintage label that says Ravens European style a trench coat is simply très chic in my opinion and if you don't own one you need one ASAP at least one every woman should own at least one trench coat and if you get it in a neutral you can wear it throughout the year it will dress up and make any outfit look chic and just elevated and so I just could not resist this vintage piece not only am I obsessed with outerwear I'm equally obsessed with plaid and so when I saw this I just thought wow this is a great piece I love the colorway the black and gray it's double breasted kind of like a pea coat this one is lined it has the discreet pockets a tie with just two belt loops on the side pretty simple in the back I wish this was just a little more voluminous that's the silhouette that I prefer but nonetheless it's gorgeous and this one is by David House made in Australia it's a size 12 when I checked out the fabric composition I couldn't believe that it was polyester because it feels like a very warm fabric it just doesn't feel like polyester but I still love it I think it's a great piece a great vintage find and I just I love it you may remember in a recent thrift with me I tried on this blazer by Q it was a form-fitting double-breasted blazer it had a beautiful silhouette but I left it I was in there recently it was still there and I thought you know what I'm gonna try this on again because I do remember I just loved the fit it's quite opposite to the oversized styling that I love but the cut of it is just so on point I, I just had to take it so I did end up bringing it home it's black but if you look very closely it has a tiny little square print embossed in the fabric like I mentioned it's double breasted it has flap pockets in the front it also has a button detail in the back and a beautiful split which again creates movement I love a split in my blazer I prefer it than just a full piece of fabric that movement in clothing is what gives your outfit a lived-in feel it's just a beautiful silhouette in my opinion it's also got the button cuff detail as well this one is fully lined and like I mentioned it's by Q made in Australia so it's got to be vintage this blazer is a polyester viscose imported fabric yes it's a departure from my oversized kind of styling but 
I think it's absolutely stunning and if you're going to a dinner or you're going to some kind of formal or you know classy event this cut of a blazer just lends a sexy kind of powerful vibe to an outfit rather than a tomboy slouchy vibe that the oversized styling gives an outfit and so it's funny that i did end up with this blazer after all okay this blazer is in this beautiful muted soft green tone that's what drew me to it first it's just you don't come across many blazers in a color like this it's very simple very classic lines a single button front closure pockets in the front a button cuff detail in the back it's just plain there's no there's no split in this one and it is fully lined it's just beautiful the lapel is gorgeous and this one is by fletcher jones and this blazer is in a hundred percent wool i don't think there will ever be a time that i come across a vintage wool blazer and decide mm, no never gonna happen my friends especially in a gorgeous color like this that was a great find and to round up the outerwear section of this haul is this piece now i wasn't really sure how to style it i left it open it didn't look good so i styled it kind of like a top i'm not sure if i did it justice i'm not sure if it even suits me i saw it i thought it was a pretty color i loved the cut these are faux pockets here at the front the buttons are vintage and absolutely stunning i paired it with a few different bottoms and i don't think i got it quite right but nonetheless it's just gorgeous vintage i cannot say no to vintage this one is all also by Delina, but it's their petites range. It's a size eight. This one is also polyester made in Australia. Check out those vintage buttons, my friends. So this piece does not have shoulder pads. And that led me to believe that this piece is most likely part of a suit and was intended to be worn as a top. So I, I searched high and low, my friends. I searched high and low that day in the salvos for the missing bottom or skirt that I am totally convinced it was a part of. So I had no luck, but I still took it. And although I'm not sure if I impressed you guys with the way I styled it, I still think it's beautiful vintage. Alrighty, let us move into shirts and blouses. The one vintage item that I thrift the most that I wear the most, that sticks around in my wardrobe the longest. And yeah, look at this one. It was the color, you guys. I was captured by this marigold yellow. It's absolutely like just sunshine. It's beautiful. And I thought it was silk. However, it's not silk. It's polyester, that amazing vintage polyester that tricks me every time. And it's just a beautiful, simple, but beautiful shirt. I love the back. It's got this little slit in the middle. So I just thought it was very rare. This one is by Kristan, made in Australia. It's a size 12 and like I mentioned, it's 100% polyester. Next up is this very vibrant, beautiful, turquoise colored shirt. This color doesn't suit me. It does nothing for me, so keep that in mind when you are seeing it in the try-on. I never wear this color. But if I do come across something that's vintage or just beautiful, I can't help myself and I just, I take it. And I think, well, maybe this piece will work. But how elegant is this blouse? I love this ruffle collar and the ruffle detail down the middle on the placket, the button cuff detail on a wide sleeve. The back is plain, it's semi-sheer, it's in a beautiful, chiffon type of fabric and of course it's vintage this one's by forbat made in australia it's a size 16 and 100 percent polyester i actually don't remember how i styled this piece because i was styling them up as i was bringing them home but i do remember very vaguely that i tried something different with it whether it was the color i paired it with or the type of piece i don't know i think it's gorgeous i just don't think it suits me. So this piece, although I absolutely love it, it was a little awkward to style. When you look at it, you can see why I love it. I love the black and white colorway. I love the polka dot. I love 
the necktie. This is all quintessential Joe. However, this piece on the bottom of the blouse, this tailoring, it just, it made it awkward in my opinion. If this was just a blouse like the bottom of this, it would have been boxier and easy to style, easier to tuck in. So yeah, I do not like this bottom bit, but I think I managed to tuck it into a bottom. I can't remember, I think. And you know, I love the wide sleeve, the button cuff detail. It's classic vintage. It's just such a beautiful piece, but I do think this bottom bit spoils it. But it's also what makes this piece vintage. I mean, I got pretty excited when I came across it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought, oh! but sometimes they just, you know, don't work out the way you quite envision. However, how can you resist? How can you resist this? There's the little vintage label that I cannot make out whatsoever. Hopefully you guys can get a really good look of what I am talking about. But the fabric is absolutely gorgeous and the buttons are quite different. And would you believe my friends, this piece is lined, not on the sleeves though. And this is the other detail I loved about this piece. Do you see this pleat on the shoulder? Again, it just gives a beautiful structure and it's quite flattering. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure you out, you little polka dot little thing. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna make this work or I'm gonna die trying. All right, you guys, hold on to your seats. I found a Burberry shirt, Burberry. Okay, when I first saw it, I thought, okay, Joe, it's Burberry, but do you like it? or are you only gonna take it because it's Burberry? So, um, I still don't know. I did like it more on me than just on the hanger, but you know what? It's not bad. Not sure if you can tell, but the red in this otherwise classic plaid, you know, Burberry pattern, it's hearts. They're hearts all over this shirt. And look how tiny that collar is. It's, it's, it's itty bitty, my friends. And I love a statement collar. However, I do think it still worked in the cutaway. And it's, it's quite unfortunate that this sleeve is that dreaded three quarter sleeve that I, that I just, it's horrendous. This sleeve is just, it's, I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna take it. It's probably fake. But upon further inspection, my friends, the buttons even say Burberry on them. Then I was convinced that it is authentic Burberry and I thought, I'm gonna take it. We'll work out how we're gonna style it later on. We can we can make it a short sleeve. Maybe it won't be too bad, this sleeve, who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. So there is the label that says Burberry Brit. Look closely at this button, my friends. Do you see? So this one is made in Romania. It's 100% cotton. I mean, is there a more quintessential British brand than Burberry and it's made in Romania? So this is a very classic piece. Very simple, just a white linen blend shirt. Of course, I have a classic white button up but it's extremely oversized. And sometimes you do need a more fitted shirt for different silhouettes on the bottom, right? And so I couldn't resist it. It's beautifully made, beautiful fabric, double chest pockets, very simple, not much to it, but it's just a beautiful vintage piece that I couldn't resist. I don't think there's a label in this. It's been cut out, but I know it's vintage and my mum, was a dressmaker and she said to me that the craftsmanship on this piece chef's kiss and although it's not an oversized shirt i love that it still has a boxy cut and the wide sleeve love now when i saw this piece i knew exactly how i wanted to style it and i knew exactly why i was buying it this is the kind of piece that I wear in Hawaii over my bikini with denim cutoffs. I wear it as an overshirt, open, loose and flowy. The colors are beautiful. If you wear blue denim cutoffs, a really gorgeous washed out blue to pick up this blue in the flower print, stunning. If you wear white denim cutoffs, it's again gonna look gorgeous. So I don't know, I just, I loved it. It's vintage, oversized, no label on this one either, but I can tell it's a viscose polyester blend. The sleeve is nice and wide 
and I think sits like a half sleeve on me, which is my favorite. It would also look gorgeous buttoned up and tucked into jeans or denim cutoffs as well, or a denim skirt even. So gorgeous. This one's definitely coming to Hawaii with me when I go again, which I don't know. I don't know when I'm going, but I am going. Now I have been on the hunt for a striped polo shirt for so long. I actually bought one, you may have seen it in the vlog, but it's more fitted. Now this one I thrifted. It is vintage Millers, black Millers, black and white, boxy shape. My other one is a knitted fabric and it's very slim fitting. So I like that I have one that's a little more casual, the stripes wider. It's a great fit on me, even though it says it is a size 14. It's also 100% cotton made in China. I just realized that there are no bottoms in this haul. Hmm, that must be a first. However, I do have accessories, my friends. And let's start off with this beret. I love berets, I do. And I love this cobalt blue color because I can tie it in with those plaid pants that I showed you guys in my vlog. So yeah, I just couldn't resist this. I love berets. I have a red one, I have a green one, I have a pink one, a blue one, and I'm pretty sure I have another color, but I can't, I can't think of it at the moment. It's Parisian, it's classic and timeless, and this one is 100% wool. It's by Saint Michael, made in the UK. I also found another piece in 100% wool. This is a beautiful, a beautiful plaid scarf in this absolutely stunning colorway. It's just beautiful neutrals. You've got black, off-white, white, a bluey gray, a charcoal gray, it can work with so many outfits. It's not very thick and wide, but it is so cozy, I've already worn it. I absolutely love this piece. This scarf is made in Italy by Plumeria. I have four bags to show you guys, four vintage bags. The first one, my friends, is this stunning thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't styled this up, but you don't need me to style up this bag to 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 know that it's stunning this bag doesn't need styling so i couldn't find a tag inside this bag all i could go by was the hardware on the front that says babilla i looked it up before i bought it and i discovered that it's an italian brand made in florence okay so i was thrilled I was thrilled because Florence, Italy is known for their leather goods, wallets, shoes, bags. They're known for it. And I've been lucky enough to find a few bags from Florence, Italy. And now I have this beauty to add to my collection. She's stunning. She's absolutely stunning. This, my friends, is the perfect shoulder bag. Now, I'm wearing a very thick knit, right? But look at the way it sits on your shoulder so perfectly the drop is perfect but if you need it a little longer because you are wearing something chunky or you are a larger frame then this bag has you covered look at this do you see the side of this bag you have the branding on the gold wear as well which is in absolute excellent condition it's not tarnished at all well my friends you can undo this little hook it's secured at the next level and if we do the same on the other side it creates a longer drop and gives you more room under the arm it's perfection isn't it is this not perfection this bag it's perfection i actually prefer the shorter strap because of the way it looks on the side it just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? It's got a beautiful piece of tortoiseshell hardware. Isn't that stunning? And look at this clasp. It's absolutely gorgeous. Such a gorgeous closure. The inside of the bag is very simply lined in polyester, I would say, with one little pocket there. What a vintage treasure find. She is just so special. So this bag is also structured, but this one's off-white, whereas this bag 
is more of a warm cream. And because there are so many different variations of white, sometimes you do need a few white bags. You need your classic stark white, an off-white, a cream. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to all my cream bags. I have so many at this point. I may have to do a bag edit and get rid of a few more, but I love this one as well. I took this bag to Melbourne and I just love it. I love it. This one's not leather, whereas I do believe that this one is leather. This is a classic longer strap, so it works great as a crossbody bag, but again, it's structured and that is what I love about these bags. I love the gold hardware and this one is by Jane Shilton. The branding's on the little clasp. It's a magnetic closure and opens up like that. So you have two big compartments and then you have a zip compartment in the middle. This fits so much, you guys, you would be surprised. So that's the branding on the inside. It does say made in China, but it's still vintage, you guys. That's how it looks on the side. There's another magnetic pocket in the back. It's great for your phone. And a little bit of a gold hardware for the chain. I mean, they are just so beautiful in their own way. So elegant. And they're not designer bags. They're not a well-known designer, but they're beautifully crafted and they're vintage and just so unique. So I was just wrapped with both of these bags, you guys, both. Now this is very different, right? Look at the shape of this bag, like a little half moon bag. I know that these bags are so on trend at the moment. So although it's vintage, it's kind of modern and current at the same time. This is a latte, tan color, a nice thick strap, and you have some silver hardware on the side. You have a couple of adjustments, so you can make it a little shorter if you like. There is a zip on the back of one side, and then your main zip compartment is quite big. It's an unusual shape, but you can still fit so much in there. There's a little tag here that says genuine cow leather made in India. Another zip compartment inside the main compartment. So another shoulder bag that sits perfectly under the arm. It looks great from the side and the front as well. Although this is not my style, I just know how current and modern it is. When you look at it, it's kind of like an oval shape with the thick strap and the shape of the bag. This is just everywhere at the moment. So I, I just couldn't resist it. And it's leather and vintage and just, again, another great find. This is the fourth and final bag that I found in this very rich chocolate slash burgundy color. It was the color that I loved and the shape. So these two are not as structured as the first two I showed you, but I just really loved this one. You can see the beautiful, rich tone of this color. It's gorgeous. It's leather, of course. The clasp is gold hardware a turn lock, and it's in excellent condition. Now inside the bag is a print cotton lining. You have the front section, then you have a back section here, and also a zip compartment. You guys, I just found a very old receipt in this bag, and if I show you the receipt, let me turn down the light a little more. Look how old this receipt is. We don't get receipts like this anymore, my friends. So I can only imagine how old this bag is. So it's simple in the back. That is how it looks on the side. And that is the front. And you've got the name of the bag at the front, which says Manzoni. On second thoughts, you guys, this actually feels like silk and not cotton, this lining. And it just closes like that, you pull it through and then push it down. The long crossbody strap with a little bit of gold hardware on that buckle. It's adjustable as well. Another beautiful vintage piece that with a little bit of TLC, you know, some leather conditioner will soften it up and make it a little more malleable and it's good to go. I mean, it's such a beautiful, rich color and I can smell the leather and I love 
that smell. I love it. And that's how it looks on the bottom as well. And the final piece of this haul, my friends, is this bracelet. I love the shape. I love gold and black. Gold and black together is so chic. It's very tiny. It just fits my wrist. It's hard to get on on my own, but I'll give you a closer look. There's your close up. Do you see the Greek key in this bracelet, my friends? It could be from Greece. Who knows? I thought it was absolutely stunning. I managed to put it on by myself. Like I said, it's tiny, so it fits at the small of my wrist, but it does look so beautiful with my vintage watch. I just really loved it. Let's see if it goes a little higher. Oh, it does, it does. It goes a little higher and is more comfortable, actually. I just love these two pieces together. Absolutely love. I just wish I knew more about this piece. I don't believe it's gold plated, however, it has held up pretty well, and I love the, the black enamel. I don't think it's onyx, although it could be, who knows? Maybe I need to take this and get it appraised. And so that, my friends, brings us to the end of my vintage try-on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all my amazing little finds. I, I just love doing these videos. I am a vintage lover. I guess you guys are too. I've already started a new collection to bring to you in another video, hopefully coming soon. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is very dark outside today, my friends. There is no sunshine at all. And I had to get this video filmed, so I was using artificial light today. So hopefully that didn't spoil the video. Sometimes it's more consistent when you use artificial light. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.